Vapping is witchcraft. So, I wanted to come and do a quick video to discuss this crazy trend on TikTok called vaping. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. B-A-B-B-I-N-G. Foolishness. First, before going into, you know, explaining what this is, um, so that people know that this is straight up witchcraft, okay? Vaping is basically, I, I am like literally yesterday or this morning years old when I found out what this was when someone on YouTube told me I should do a video about it. I'm like, what is this? What does it mean? This is basically where a woman takes her vaginal secretions and she uses it as perfume. She puts it behind her um, neck, on her wrist basically wearing her scent in order for the purpose of drawing in a man let's take a look at what this actually is and what it does okay so first as you can see on this website this is just to show you where i'm getting some of the information from learning witchcraft with miss juniper wild walk at the bottom it says bodily fluids and their associations in witchcraft as you can see it says vaginal mucus okay this is how vaginal mucus is used for the sake of witchcraft. The associations is for love, sex and sexual magnetism, pleasure, power and control, health, good fortune, the divine feminine, all new age, okay? Notes, collected after masturbating to orgasm, vaginal fluids are often used in love spells as an excellent substitute for menstrual fluids for those who cannot obtain said fluids. It has also been used in the past as an ingredient in the production of potions to benefit product reproductive health and not just of people with vaginas. This, this also says many magical traditions encourage the use of bodily fluids to attract a person you're in love with. Like many magical customs, if this goes against your personal code of ethics, then you may want to skip it. So why am I doing this video? There is way too many trends that I'm seeing on TikTok where people are becoming so blinded and so gullible by what seems cool without doing your research, without doing your background. Not only that, if you're nasty enough to put your bodily secretions, okay, on your body in order for them to be used as perfume for any purpose, then you need to check, you know, check yourself. I think you might need deliverance. All right. There, there's some deliverance that's needed if you are even willing to do something that nasty, because that's a biohazard issue. All right. As a person who is a medical assistant as well, biohazard spreading all type of germs and you want to put that on, on your outside of your body for other people to touch and you need deliverance.